This is the Unitizing with Pattern Blocks tool. When you open this tool, you will see a Pattern Blocks grid. You also see a series of blocks that you can use to create the patterns on the grid. The purpose is to select or create a gray area. You can use a pre-designed gray area by clicking the up and down arrows here. Once you find one you like, click this arrow to place it into the grid. This gray area now represents a value which you lock into place so that students can drag the shapes onto it. Notice that you set the value of the gray area. In this case it is one whole, but it could be one half or one fourth or one eighth. Students now drag the pattern blocks onto the gray area once they count the amount of triangles that are there to determine the value. I'm going to begin with the red trapezoid and drag it over. Notice that it does not fit, so I'm going to rotate it and place it into position. It now takes up three of the triangles. Now I will select the blue diamond. Again, I need to rotate that and put it into position. Finally, there's one gray area that is not covered, which can be covered with the green triangle once rotated. Students now have all of the area of the gray covered and can start entering the fractional value of each color. The red area represents three out of six triangles or three-sixths of the entire gray area. Notice that I have checked the number pad, which is an option that you can use with students. It is wonderful when using the interactive whiteboard. I have now put in one-sixth for the green triangle or the green area, and will enter in two-sixths for the blue area. The number pad floats with me. I'm now ready to check my work. Notice that if I get the area correct, a button will appear here. This is reinforcement for the student. Clicking on that tessellates their design. And it also allows further conversation. If the red area represents 3 6 previously, what does it represent now? Clicking on the circular reset button allows me to put in the default settings and start over. This unitizing fractions with pattern blocks tool can be used to develop the understandings that fractions are related to one another and identifying the unit of the whole helps you to identify the fractional amounts or parts of the whole.